публика в состоянии полного шока. Его нахождение вот это да. Мощнейший. Вот In April 2016, Mason Menard squared off against undefeated Dominican UD Bernardo. Menard displayed superior boxing skills, hand speed, and real patience against Bernardo throughout the fight. <laughs> Then, in round three, Menard found an opening to land a perfectly timed shot that knocked Bernardo out cold handing him his first loss. The 2000 Olympic gold medalist Audley Harrison faced fellow Englishman Michael Sprott in 2007 for the European and British heavyweight titles. Harrison got off to a good start, using his size to his advantage in the early going. He's been in this situation before against our debut here, actually, back in 2001. He's had good wins as well. But in round three, Sprott made a comeback and produced a stunning knockout. This was the first knockout defeat in Heron's career. I don't think he's going to get up. It's all over. The left hook is ready for Michael Scott. What a shot that was. What a shot. And look at the uncontrolled jubilation of 74 Jim Evans. He's hugging the In March 2013, Kazakh legend Gennady Golovkin defended his WBO middleweight championship against Japanese veteran Nobuhiro Ishida. Although many do not consider the Japanese challenger a threat to Golovkin, he is known as a tough and durable fighter who has never been knocked out before. However, this changed in round three as Golovkin stopped Ishida with an impressive knockout victory to retain his title. In December 2016, IBF light welterweight champion Edouard Troyanovsky defended his title against Namibian Julius Ndongo. Although both fighters came into the bout undefeated, Ndongo was considered a 20-to-1 underdog. However, in a surprising turn of events, the Namibian fighter made short work of Troyanovsky and blasted him out cold in 40 seconds что соперник будет двигаться вперед. О, Опа! и это нокаут! Это нокаут! Вот это да! Первым же практически точным ударом. Левый прямой, точно в челюсть. Вот пос посмотрите, точно. Fast rising prospect Devin Haney faced his toughest challenge so far in the person of Antonio Moran. Touch him up. Let's go. However, Haney passed his first test with flying colors as he scored a devastating knockout against Moran in the seventh round. In this highly anticipated rematch, four-time super middleweight champion Carl Froch defended his unified championship against a much younger George Groves. Following a cagey start, the fight exploded in the middle rounds with both fighters giving it their all. I've got the frame of mind of a champion and a winner. But in round eight, Froch caught Groves with a vicious punch that sent him crumbling in a heap and left no question as to who the better fighter was.
The rivalry between Jersey Joe Walcott and Ezard Charles gave us one of the most unforgettable fights in boxing history. Charles, the heavy favorite in dark trunks. In July 1951, the pair met for the third time, with Walcott making his fifth attempt at a world heavyweight title at the record age of 37. In round seven, Walcott produced one of the most iconic punches in boxing history to put his old rival away. With every ounce of Multiple time super middleweight champion Mikkel Kessler moved up to the light heavyweight division in 2012 to challenge Alan Green for the vacant WBC silver light heavyweight title. Kessler overcame a rough start in the fight and rallied back with his assault. After a back and forth battle, Kessler answered questions about his power with a spectacular one-punch knockout in round four. Bulgarian Kubrat Pulev came into his first world title bout against Vladimir Klitschko with an undefeated record of 20 and 0. The fearless Pulev went straight at Klitschko from the start, but his aggression was mostly ineffective. Klitschko battered Pulev over five rounds and made him pay for his showboating, dropping him three times before delivering a brutal knockout in the final minute of round five. In July 2012, New Zealand's Shane Cameron faced American former world title challenger Monty Barrett. Barrett was coming off a narrow points victory over David Tuma, who had previously beaten Cameron. The 41-year-old American veteran got off to a good start, but it soon became apparent that he was no match for his younger opponent. Cameron rocked Barrett multiple times in the fight before putting him to sleep with a devastating one-punch knockout in round four. Following his first career loss to Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez bounced back with two wins before facing the dangerous James Kirkland. A Kirkland's quality in a fight this big. Kirkland, known for his aggressiveness, brought the fight straight to Alvarez from the start, but Alvarez patiently withstood the onslaught, waiting for his opening. Attack, or he can cut it. Canelo on the defensive right now as Kirkland fires away. Canelo taking his time and landing the big shot. Lord, right right hand. Down. After two action-packed rounds, Alvarez ended the fight with a spectacular knockout in round three. And coming back. And tell him to cut area. Epicut knocks Kirkland down. Second knockdown. Six, seven. Let's let John Shirley know he's not knocked out, just knocked down. Second knockdown. Right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Shirley's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. Hugo Centeno Jr. seemed to be on his way to a comfortable decision victory against James De La Rosa when the two met in 2014. The fight abruptly ended in round five with an impressive knockout from Centeno.
In February 2012, Adonis Stevenson and Jesus Gonzalez met for the vacant IBF Intercontinental Super Middleweight title. Stevenson came out firing from the opening bell, throwing every punch with evil intentions. Gonzalez had nothing to offer as Stevenson continued to pound him with hard shots and eventually knocked him out senseless in just one round. In April 2009, Puerto Rican Francisco Figueroa faced former world champion Randall Bailey in an IBF title eliminator. The early going saw both fighters climb off the canvas. Is that you remind them you have been on the floor and now all of a sudden Bailey is staggered. And that's not but Bailey rallied back in round four to score a brutal one punch knockout. In May 2014, Alexander Povetkin and Manuel Char met for the vacant WBC International Heavyweight title. Povetkin was coming off his only loss against Vladimir Klitschko, while Char's only loss at the time was against Vitaly Klitschko. Both former world title challengers got off to a good start, but Povetkin got the better of the exchanges. Then, in round seven, Povetkin ended the fight with an impressive knockout, handing Char his second career loss. In November 2014, Jose Zapata faced former Dominican contender Victor Manuel K.O. The opening round started with both fighters looking to establish their dominance and find openings. However, after one minute into the fight, this happened. British amateur standout Stephen Smith challenged Welsh Gary Buckland for his British super featherweight title in 2013. Smith lured the forward pressing champion into a corner where he delivered a devastating punch to end the fight in a stunning fashion. In January 2015, Francisco Santana faced undefeated Dominican Kendall Mena in a scheduled 10-round bout. I'll tell you the truth. Mena came out as the aggressor at the opening bell, while the more experienced Santana patiently waited for an opening. Santana, they call him Chia because they think his hair looks like a Chia pit. Oh, left hook! Santana knocked Mena out cold moments later with a vicious punch. We're taken out of the graveyard. If Mena's in happened. trouble again, flat on his back, he's out cold, and that will do it! What a win for Francisco Chia Santana! Did he 
did what he was supposed to do with a guy who, again, has never been in a real fight, and unfortunately, he has been. In September 1994, Oliver McCall challenged undefeated British champion Lennox Lewis for his WBC heavyweight title. As one of Mike Tyson's prime Following a closely fought open round, Lewis came out with a sense of urgency in round two, but he was caught with a perfectly timed punch that ended the fight early. Slicks out that job. Oh, oh a short God. right hand. A short right hand. That's Just what he called. McCall That's what he said. <laughs> Hey, and Lewis doesn't look good. Nine. This fight That's is it. over. Following Mike Tyson's controversial bite fight against Evander Holyfield, he returned to the ring nearly after two years to face South African Francois Botha. Even though Botha outboxed and outpointed the rusty iron Mike for the first four rounds, Opposite. Tyson made a comeback in round five and reminded the boxing world of his explosive power. Not many people remember Bobby Quarry, the youngest of the famous Quarry boxing brothers. In one of his few televised bouts, he squared off against Dave Kilgore in a scheduled eight-round bout. However, this fight turned out to be a mismatch as Quarry scored a brutal knockout over Kilgore in round three. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting updates.